What's going on everybody? Kyle here from Softwash TV. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to make a short video and it's going to be about Rufio right here. So if you're a subscriber, you've probably seen, you know, several months ago I picked up this rig as a backup rig and I wanted to do a review on it since I haven't done that yet. So let's jump right into it. All right, everybody. First things first, I want to mention who built this trailer. It's a company out of Wilmington, North Carolina called Industrial Cleaning Equipment. They do phenomenal work. I'll make sure I put their company name on the screen as well as their phone number. That way, if y'all needed to contact them for an estimate or something, you can. They build it all, guys. So as far as turnkey rigs go, it don't matter if you want a trailer, if you want a skid, if you want a full-blown flatbed build. I think they're the only pressure washing builder in the country that has a direct relationship with Azuzu. So if you want an Azuzu NPR, like, Medusa in here. I don't know if you guys are new to the channel or not. Something like this. They can build you that too. What's up, everybody? Before we continue, just a friendly reminder. Make sure you check out Softwash TV Pro, the exterior cleaning industry's answer to the need for quality pressure washing and soft washing training. Not only will you learn about safety, but we will teach you how to wash. Learn from a pro the ins and outs of house washing, concrete washing, and low-pressure roof cleaning. We teach wash techniques and preventative measures for property protection. Softwash TV Pro will educate you about industry equipment and all of the chemicals used during daily operations. Learn marketing strategies from a successful pressure washing company and take advantage of numerous resources that will help you start and grow a pressure washing company. Thanks for watching. Now back to the video. All right, everybody, before we continue with the video, just one last thing to all my Softwash TV Pro members. Yesterday, I uploaded the certificate. So if you take Exterior Cleaning 101, the soft washing and pressure washing course in there, and you do the ride along videos, you could get a certificate that's through United Softwash where I certify you for Exterior Cleaning 101. So that's in there, guys. Insane value, training, chemical knowledge, equipment knowledge, um, ride along videos, open book to how i market my company and get leads I, I show you guys everything guys 49 bucks check it out link is in the comments guys as far as the review goes i am so happy with this trailer how it turned out and how it's been using it out into the field i'll be completely transparent i have not been using this rig every day since i bought it guys this is a backup rig for me that rig inside is my day-to-day -day operations vehicle. So this did come in very in handy this year. In the middle of summer, it was like peak season, my Azuzu went down. I had a like a catastrophic brake failure. I had to get a bunch of work done. My truck was in the shop for a week. So if some of you guys have flatbed trucks, you got to think about that. When your vehicle goes down, you're not going to have a rig unless you have a backup like I have. So I did put this through its paces for... A little over a week i think it was five business days one week and then i did a job on the weekend so six days i probably put 20 hours on the machine i know i did at least 20 houses and two roofs with it so very happy with it so far i'll walk around real quick give you a quick down and dirty of everything and i'll talk about what i like about everything all right guys for the trailer itself i went with an aluminum trailer and if any of you guys have ever had a steel rig like a skid or a steel trailer, even if it's Linex, over time you're gonna have some serious corrosion and some rust going on. So I'm really glad that I spent the extra money, went with aluminum. Not only does it look killer and it stays looking killer a lot longer than a steel rig, it's lighter too, and it just looks really nice. So this is an Aluma trailer. They, they make phenomenal trailers right here. And this is the 7710H. So not a big trailer, guys. Seven foot across, 10 foot long, super light. What I love about it is I could tow it with this Ranger right here, guys. I don't have to have some huge rig to tow this small trailer right here. But even though it's small, it packs a big punch. I'll work my way around this rig clockwise. That way you can see everything. First things first, we have a custom fabricated rack or elevated stand that gets those reels off of the deck of the trailer. You know, nothing wrong with that, but if you want to save your back, if you're doing a lot of washing, I can't tell you how nice this has been having these reels up where they're easily accessible. I don't have to bend over and break my back. So I love that they're all elevated. Everything is easily accessible. And if you notice, everything is on the curb side, you know, the passenger side of the truck, 
Whenever I pull up to the curb at someone's house, every, all the reels are on one side of the rig. Just a quick rundown of the reel choice. We chose three aluminum hose reels. These are by Summit and they're 12 inches. That's what size they are. On the front of the trailer up here, we have 200 feet of blue agricultural hose. That is for our dedicated soft wash pump and I'll talk about more of that in a second. Secondly, we have our green Flexilla hose. I believe that's 150 feet of green Flexilla garden hose. This is what you're gonna hook to the customer's spigot to fill up your buffer tank whenever you get to the job site. And then we have our 200 feet, and this is blue. Normally I like grain on marking, but this is blue high pressure hose right here. Really happy with this hose. All right, let's talk about the soft wash system next. Since we're on this side of the truck, I did wanna mention that just like the hose reels, the metering system, this blendable metering system for our soft wash system is also curbside. So it makes it really easy if you gotta adjust your mix. Say you wanna go from a 1% for washing houses, you wanna kick it up to five or six. If you're gonna do a dirty roof, you don't have to step out into the street, you're curbside at the property and you could do it all right there. I really like this blendable manifold. This one is by Midwest Washing Equipment. This is their Hydro Mixer XL. What I really love about Midwest is they use quality parts on everything, guys. So if you want a blendable system that's already built, you could get one from Midwest Washing Equipment. So Google that and find it. I'm not one of these people that posts a bunch of links and stuff like that, guys. All you got to do is Google it. You'll find it. But like I said, they use really nice stuff. I really love these Hayward valves. I think they're the best ones in the industry. Them and George Fisher GF valves. I don't use anything but those because they're tried and true. Um, a lot of guys ask about the Pentair valves. Those work. If you want a really cheap solution, you could use those Pentair valves. I think they're by Pentair or Rainbow, but they're just the pool chlorine metering valves. They work very well too, but from a longevity standpoint, these are gonna hold up so much longer, guys, and they're more accurate, so use the good stuff. The soft wash pump itself, everybody, this is an electric soft wash system. It's a 12 volt system, meaning it's tied to a 12 volt battery. And this is a 5.3 gallon per minute Remco pump right here. If you're gonna have a 12 volt system, which I, I really love 12 volt systems, make sure you have a quality pump. Some pumps, as far as longevity goes, they don't last that long. I've had really good luck with Remco. And this is easily or conveniently located right on the back of the plate for the blendable system. So right on the back side, I got my pump right here. So if it ever goes down, it's an easy swap out. This is the 100 PSI pump. Just so you know, food for thought, whenever you're looking at these 5.3s, I believe one comes in 60 PSI, one comes in 100 PSI. Get the 100 PSI. Moving to the back side of the trailer, guys, I just wanna talk about convenience and accessibility because that's very important moving around the rig and it's a common theme. How easily accessible everything is. There's a lot of, I see a lot of trailers on the road and they look great, but a lot of trailers have the big gate on the back side or they have their surface cleaner way up high on a, on a specialized rack or something like that. This is so easy to just step onto this trailer and access. This is a 24 inch surface cleaner right here. It pairs very nicely with the pressure washer we picked out. I'll show that in a second, but you know, got some custom fabricated rails right here and this mount where you can lock it in place and you don't have to worry about losing your surface cleaner going down the road. As far as tank selection for this rig, we went with a, we wanted to keep it light. We didn't want to go with a huge buffer tank. So we got a 225 leg tank for our buffer tank. That's what feeds the pressure washer. 55 gallon vertical bleach tank and a 16 gallon surfactant tank. See, we got a custom cradle right here to hold the tank in place. So everything's accessible. If you need to fill up your bleach at the bleach store, Everything, you don't have to reach all over the rig. Everything is right here, easily accessible, including filling up. So if you're filling up on the truck, we wanted to make sure that the gas tank is on the same side of the truck that you're gonna be filling up on. So most pickup trucks, their gas cap is on the left-hand side. The fuel cell itself, everybody, is an aluminum fuel cell. I believe it's 10 gallons, so you have good fuel capacity. You're not gonna have any issues going out there knocking down a few houses before you have to fill up. You know, a lot of guys I see using the six gallon marine grade tanks, nothing wrong with them, but they just, they don't last as long and you don't have as much fuel capacity. So I really like having an aluminum fuel cell. I can't help but laugh and, and shake my head guys when I see some of y'all buying $25,000 and $30,000 pressure washing rigs, guys, and your tanks have ratchet straps on them and you get a plastic marine grade fuel tank. That's no bueno, guys. If you're going to spend quality money, make sure the people that are building it are putting the good stuff on there. Like, 
30 grand and you get in ratchet straps. Shit's crazy. Now to the heart of the rig. This is a Honda GX690, guys. It's tied to an eight gallon per minute general pump. Once again, the machine itself is elevated. Custom stand right there that it's sitting on just like the reels over there so you're not breaking your back. You don't have to bend over to start this thing constantly. And from a maintenance standpoint, it being elevated is gonna save your back and make your life a lot easier whenever it comes to if you gotta replace belts, if you gotta take the pump off, you're good to go. Everything is easy to fix. I'm just sitting here admiring how clean everything looks. This unit just looks, still looks brand new, guys. No corrosion, no rust anywhere. That's why I like keeping all my stuff inside, guys. Even the muffler cover right here doesn't even have any rust on it yet, so. All right, guys, now that we walked around the trailer, you've already heard me voice some of the things that I'm very happy with, but let's just summarize, guys, on the most important things that I like about this trailer and the things I'm very happy with. I really like the size of this trailer, and I like that it's aluminum. It's lighter, so I don't have to have a huge diesel truck to tow this rig right here, and it's really easy to get in and out of jobs, so backing up to houses, backing into narrow driveways and stuff like that, you're not going to have any issues with a small trailer like this. Despite its size, it packs a heavy punch. It's got an eight gallon per minute pressure washer on there. So great volume. Eight gallons per minute is the sweet spot, guys. I got bigger, I got a bigger machine in there on my main rig, 11 gallons per minute. I also have a five and a half on that rig, but eight gallon per minute is that sweet spot. If you're just getting into the industry, it's great to at least start with four gallons a minute, but you're gonna outgrow that so fast. Just go, go ahead and get an eight gallon per minute machine. Trust your boy. I know what I'm talking about, all right? So packs a good punch. That eight gallon per minute, I didn't even mention this, guys. I downstream 99% of my houses. I only use my soft wash system for pre and post treating driveways and brick and doing roofs. I don't ever wash a house with a 12 volt, guys. So that's just, I like being fast and efficient. So I downstream. This makes your life super easy. This is a Flow Pro Solutions remote downstream bypass kit right here. So look into them. This is gonna give you the ability to remotely control when you spray chemical versus when you spray water to rinse the house. So you don't have to go back and forth to the truck. Like I mentioned before, everything is curbside, easily accessible, including this. There's an LED indicator light. I could visually see whenever I hit that remote, I could see that this has a received signal and it's gonna start pulling chem or start rinsing depending on what I wanna do. If I don't have line of sight on this, the Flow Pro Solutions also has a red indicator light on the remote and an audible sound so you could hear it. Let's see, we just talked about the, the size of the trailer, which is great. We talked about the washing power, eight gallons per minute, 12 volt soft wash system, remote downstream bypass kit. Makes your life easy out there washing. I have nothing bad to say about this rig. And the last thing that I really love, and I talked about it in depth in the video, is just how accessible everything is. All of the reels are off of the deck. The engine's off of the deck. Everything's easily accessible from a washing standpoint, but more importantly, a maintenance standpoint. I've seen a lot of rigs and helped people on their rigs where it looks great, but if you actually know what you're doing and you're kind of technical or you come from a maintenance background, I'll look at some of the placement of people's engines and pumps and uh, electrical wiring and stuff like that and things are put in places where it is a pain in the butt to work on like taking the pump off you just hang it up guys so very well thought out rig if you need some pressure washing equipment guys reach out to industrial cleaning equipment there's all types of companies that build equipment some are better than others guys most builders in the industry they've been building three or four years they're experienced these guys have been building rigs for three or four decades actually their 50th anniversary was this year i believe they had their 50th anniversary guys so they've been doing this a long time guys so check them out if you need an estimate i'm gonna put this rig up i'm gonna go grab some food i'll take you along with me show you what i'm gonna get I'm, your boys craving carnitas right now all right guys if you're in my area i'm at exit 312 319 i'm at exit 319 at the BP, so connected to the gas station is La Pasadita, which means the little one. So we'll go inside and I'll show you guys the inside. I'm not gonna film too much in there. People be looking at me weird.